should we do next, I wonder? <clears throat> Repair all running gear faults. That one's still here. Interesting, never really thought about declining a job before. So this is obviously the category, isn't it? The engine... The, what were the categories? Engine, uh, running gear, uh, braking, I think it's suspension maybe? Gears... Electronics? I'm guessing. Change the engine oil and filter. Okay, let's do that because we've not done that in this game yet. Did it in the previous game, um, car mechanic sim, but not in this one. So let's see if there's any difference in that. Uh, I've already seen... Let's get it straight onto the... I kind of don't see the point in him leaving it here. It did mention earlier, don't leave anything else here, so... Are we basically saying that you can do more than one job at a time? Repair all running gear faults. Like, can you take... Do these things expire is what I'm trying to get at. So you can take this, but if you don't if you don't leave the middle bit empty, then he can't come and get his car. So he can't get his car from here. So if I move this, if I go left again. Yes, well, it should be in the preview picture, shouldn't it, game? So what happens when I, I probably just, I'm probably going to regret doing this. If I press O for order now. Oh, that's why you have to be looking at the car to press the O key. All right. So what is the advantage here to doing this? Now let me just see what happened here. Another job came in. Knocking noises from engine bay. Why not just do one at a time? Why why have two ramps? Hmm. Remains to be seen. All right. Change oil. Drain old and refill with new. And the oil filter are we can't now hang on a minute where's the there it is the good old oil drain click to use um okay let go please <laughs> this thing stuck to me click escape wow <laughs> You can't actually do that by clicking. You can't let go by clicking. That is so weird. Alrighty. So we want to do the oil filter. And... There's the oil filter. Now we know we can take that straight off. But what I want to do is... Where's the sump plug? This used to be quite straightforward to line up, but I've got a feeling... It might be a bit trickier now. Okay. Does that look like it? No. Is it in the right place that way? Oh, this is ridiculous. It's like hard to get it lined up. <laughs> because the, the perspective of the game makes it hard. And what makes it worse is when you click on the thing, it comes towards you. Hey? How can that possibly be over there now? Right, I think that's good. Right, it's okay that way. It's a little bit off. Let's see how it pulls it towards you. So now I've, I've lost one axis of correctness. Just because he pulls it towards himself. But I think that's right, okay. Here we go. I can't even look down. I can't even see where that went. I have no idea where that just went. It's not dirty. <laughs> well, I didn't get fined, so I'm guessing that's okay. Um, now, I do need a new oil filter, which can't repair an oil filter. So we just need to go and buy a new one. If I put filter, that should bring two in. Fuel, oil filter, R4. That wasn't R4, wasn't it? Yep. Let's whack the filter on. Drop the car down. And... It should just be a case of topping up with oil. So, let's have a look at the dipstick, which is on minimum. 
Okay. So then, again, this is complete and utter guesswork as to how much we need. We have no way of knowing what's the right amount of oil. You can't measure it beforehand, which is what any sensible mechanic would do. He would look at the specifications from the manufacturer and it will say, you should put in this many litres. And he would know how many to put in. We just have to guess. We have to just randomly look at that. As it turns out, it's pretty much bang on. $149. Let's watch the XP. 532. 632. Yeah, it's 100 per job. Okay, so what was wrong with this guy? Front wheel hub. Oh, not that again. The rear suspension arm and the spring cap. The spring cap. That gives me no indication. No indication of where that is. Spring cap. Well, you can straight away, you can see the arm's broken. There's a... Looks like a spring... Rear suspension arm, spring cap. That was the spring cap here, but that's not showing up as broken at the moment. It's going to be one of these caps, isn't it? Now, we have to take the suspension arm off the back anyway. We know where the front wheel hub is, but we... Are we allowed to do this yet? Are we allowed to use any of this stuff? The paint shop. Ooh. Path test. You need to have 2,500 XP to use the path test. Um, okay. Can we take this car to the test track? Old factory test track. Let's try that. Whoa. This is completely different. <laughs> Go on, rev it, son. Rev it. Acceleration. What have we got next? Slalom. I don't even know where we're going. Oh, God. <laughs> Luckily, you don't get penalised for smashing the bodywork. This is the slalom. Oh, my life. This is hilarious. Suspension test. I might be going too quick, you know. Woo! -hoo! And then braking. That's pretty fun, actually. I like that. Ooh, look at this. Examine report. Wow. Front spring, 61%. So if I now go over to my car, press H, and then press C... It shows in yellow the components that it measured. So if there was anything faulty, that would have shown it up. But it unfortunately doesn't tell me anything about the cap. Oh, the front wheel hub. Which I was kind of hoping it would. So that's a shame. All right, let's just get this thing up. What we can see is... Wow, there's some nasty, nasty wheels. Look at the state of that. Like rusty steel wheels, aren't they? Uh, the rear suspension arm is the one that needs doing, isn't it? Rear suspension arm. I suspect it's this one that needs fixing. Let's take the bushing out. Or the bushing. That is in 60... Th hang on, was that 63? No. 12%. 12%. It's, um, hide. Condition. Let's get the wheel off. Now then. Springs in eighty in sixty eight percent. The spring cap is on the top here. Well, that's the shock absorber cap. That's not the spring cap. That's the spring cap, and that's in fourteen. 
So to get that off, we need to get the spring off. To get that off, we need to get the cap off. That makes sense. Then we've got the rear spring. Then we've got the spring cap. Cool. Um, rear suspension arm. Now, hang on. Hang on a sec. Before we do this. That's at 12%, right? And we know... That there's a skill here that brings it to 50% chance of repair. So, is there any cost to even trying? Are you sure you want to repair the suspension? Chance of repair, 40%. Now, the question is, if you don't repair it, does that destroy the components, in which case that's going to cost you money? I'm not loving a 40% repair chance, I must admit. And if I sell it, I get $16. Let's learn from this. Okay, I'm going to try. You managed to repair the part. Part condition after repair. 15%. Are you having a laugh? So when he says he managed to repair it, what he means is he managed to scrape a bit of rust off it. Wow. Spring cap and rear suspension arm. We need those two. We've got the front hub to do as well. Spring, spring, cap, there it is, suspension, suspension arm, it was a rear suspension arm wasn't it, it's one of these, I think, but double check, yeah, it was one of them, luckily it remembers the what you last searched for, which is very nice. Rear suspension arm is gone. Spring cap is gone. Let's get the back of the car reassembled, and then we can just sort out that front hub. So, let's go into here. Let's go back into assembly mode. And we'll put the spring cap back. Shiny and new. Rear spring. Okay, that's those things. I think that was all you had to take off on that side. The arm goes on the other side, doesn't it? That's that bit. Uh, assembly mode. There's the arm. Let's get that arm back on. Rim back on. Okay, inventory check. Rubber bushings missing. Uh, no, assembly mode. No, 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 assembly mode. Thank you. Rubber bushing back on. Parts list is empty. So, front wheel hub. Now, 50 50, we don't know which one it's going to be. So, unfortunately, we'll have to pop the wheel off, see if we can examine it. Um, front wheel hub. Examine. Condition, 1%. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty broken. That ding noise is a bit strong, isn't it? Bang, bang. Uh, yes, we need to take the bearing out. Oh, come on. Drive axle, then the bearing, and then the hub. Which I'm going to try and repair, but I, I, I don't think it will repair, but we'll try. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, no. Not a chance. So we need the front wheel hub. No. Uh, wheel hub. Front wheel hub, $110. Let's get rid of the old one. Balance is ticking up nicely. XP is going up very slowly. Okay, assembly. 
hub. It's basically like the last game, but a bit more detailed, and some of the some of the um, UI elements have been improved upon, which is nice. Brakes, pads, calipers, and then the wheel. Again, it's vastly sim simplified from the real thing, but you kind of expect that. It's still nice though. I mean, if you if you know nothing about cars, it does teach you, you know, the basics, the basic units where they go and kind of. So you're not completely dumbfounded when you go down to the uh, mechanics. It's like, oh yeah, your front wheel knuckle's broken, you know. <laughs> you actually know what that is. Okay, six hundred and sixty dollars. That's actually a decent earner. XP, I'm guessing, is going to be a hundred six six three seven six three. We're now on four grand. Ticking up slowly. There's nothing quick about this. It's just kind of going up slowly. Let's, let's do another one. Uh, knocking noises from the engine bay for both of them. That's a little bit tedious. Let's decline that one. Let's take that one. Now, if we've got knocking noises, let's have a look at the... Okay, we have no access to the camshaft. Right, so it's basically telling us what to fix. Now, later on, it's saying we will need to use equipment to work out what it is that's wrong and how and what we need to fix. But it's basically saying that we need to fix the camshaft, which is interesting because that means taking out the top of the engine, which we haven't done yet. And that is most definitely new in this game. So let's go for the engine cover, which needs ignition coils to be removed. I like how you get a choice over the jobs you get now, rather than just um, the very prescriptive, you must do this, you can't do anything else until you do this. And you can actually abandon jobs, which is really good. Uh, camshaft is that or that. Let's go to examine mode. Seventy-five. Oh, examine both of them and 20. Now, if we look at the order, the minimum is 67, which means that one's fine. So we just need to take this one out. And we can't because we need to take the side of the engine off, which makes sense. All the timing stuff has to come off, which means the timing belts. Oh, my God. Right, so we've got Serpentine A. Then we've got the belt tensioner. Then we've got Serpentine B. Then we've unfortunately got to get rid of all the pulleys and the water pump. It still does the annoying camera zoom thing. Then we take the belt cover off. Taking off a camshaft is not a small job in real life. Right, so we take the timing belt off. Presumably we can now take the cam gear off that one, which allows to take off the camshaft. Perfect. Cool. So we need a brand new camshaft. I assume we can't repair it, but I actually don't know. No. They should put something on TV. Like GTA would put something on TV. Right. Cam shaft. I think it's just a standard camshaft. 200 big ones. Yep. And we get back 30 for the old one. That's 170. Let's go back into assembly mode. Camshaft on. Cam gear on. The, the general kind of camera UI is better than the last game. But it still does this kind of in-out zoom thing that I find irritating because you're kind of moving your mouse into positions for the next thing and you see that the camera backs out which is a little bit annoying then it zooms in then it backs out before you can click on the next one I'd like to be able to just lock the camera and say I want to stay I want to stay zoomed in because I'm gonna fix all of these components here so just leave me zoomed right here and let me fix everything and there doesn't appear to be a way of doing that even if it was something simple like holding down the shift key, it would just lock the camera. 
prefer to have that kind of manual control. I think it would make things faster as well. Okay. Uh, is that everything? Ignition coils and the engine cover. Right. Let's put the engine cover back. I wonder if you do, like, the last one had the ignition leads and the spark plugs, but there was no ignition coil as such. There we go. I think that is done. Uh, ticks, $500. 100 XP. It's all good. Time for the next job.